fellow warriors of the blade i bring you an unboxing today of a product from cooler master it's a very good product we're going to unbox today i pull out my black blade and we're unboxing now this thing is very cool very good product it's a good test bench and the case all in one if you know what i mean you know for enthusiast hundred dollar for case it comes with two or two five and a quarter bays, two three and a half bays, and six. That's right, six two and a half bays, two of which were on the X. That's right, they call it the X. This is the X stock. Oh, good technology. 8.2 kilogram. That's right, 8.2 kilogram, 18 pounds, seven expansion bays. Ha! Oh, very good product for the ninja with the traveling thing. Now, today I have a with me throwing knives which are falling out here. I have a throwing knife, so throwing knife, you go, I can box for throwing knife, kill your opponent. You have multiple throwing knives, kill the opponent. And now we shall move on to the real unboxing and see what comes in the box. Hello! All right, everybody. So just joking with the intro there, but check it out. Here's the box. Now, this is an early engineering sample that for some reason got buried back there. Because um, usually if people tell me it's under NDA and I got to hold on to it, uh, that's kind of bad because we like to get our products and move and rock and roll with them. So you know how we do it around here. But here's the box. I'm sure the ones you get to the store won't have these little things saying, you know, sample, not for sale. There you go. And so there's that. So now let's begin the actual unboxing part. I'm gonna turn this thing sideways. Got these trusty little throwing knives. Go ahead and take an insertion there. Make another one here and here. I'm gonna take one last one over here. And after all those nice insertions with our lovely throwing knives, we're gonna throw them at the cameraman. And with that said now, we'll go ahead and we shall unbox this bad boy. I will go ahead and take my little trusty throwing knives and set them back here in the back. We don't need them anymore. We'll take the black sword. And we'll go back here in the back as well. Let's pop this thing out. Inside you can see it's all nice and stacked and packed. Alrighty then, so it's another box. I'll take the big box. You'll hear it thrown across the room, man. Oh, oh, poor cat. Did we squash her? Oh, bummer. Oh, well, time to get a new cat. I'm just kidding. She's fine. You guys can't take a joke. All right, here we go. Cardboard coming off. One piece. Cardboard piece number two coming off. Oh, good catch there. All right, so now I'm gonna have the camera and refocus. All right, folks, so now we'll unbag it. Go ahead and take it and bring it up here. Well, now I will spin it around the other side right here. All right, folks, so now let's take a look at the front of the case. Right here to my left, you can see the Cooler Master logo. Behind this, we have two 120 millimeter fans. They're back behind here. Then coming over here, we have two USB. 3.0, microphone, headphone, restart, power. Then over here, we'll start at the bottom. We have our two five and a quarter bays down here. Up here, we have two removable. So that's pretty much everything in the front right there. Now, the thing that's interesting about this though is I'm actually looking at this thing totally wrong. You could use it this way, but actually the entire unit goes like this. I want to see if anybody out there actually caught on to that and saw that, but they didn't, so now I'm going to spin it. This is actually how the unit really does go. And like they said before, this thing is very easily detachable and stuff and taken apart that you can use it for either a test bench or a case. So let's go ahead and let's start taking this thing apart and looking at it. We'll flip it around, show you the sides. Here's a side right here where you can see there's a handle and everything else. Easy grip and take. Bring it around to the back. More areas for mounting fans. Power supplies can be mounted down here. 
seven expansion slots we spoke of before right here. Let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and show you guys the top. Now on top it says it takes a single 200 millimeter fan. That's going to be for the top. Let's continue to dissect. We'll go ahead and hopefully these things aren't too tightly on. Alright folks, so I tried to do these by hand and they would not work. So let me just say right off the bat, don't try to do them by hand. You're going to have to go out and get a screwdriver. Just break that initial seal because they're all very, very tight in here. Could not do it by hand at all. So make it nice and simple. Just get a Phillips head screwdriver. Make it quick, easy, first turn. And then after that, you're good to go. And you can go ahead and take them all out. So I'll give them all the nice initial turn. Then after that, you can pretty much just take them all out like normal thumb screws. Oops. But like I said, the initial needs to actually have a tool. It's not toolless. You're going to have to use it. I could just fast forward to the video and take all this out, folks. But I figured you folks would want to see it done. So I will do it and make it so you guys can see it all. That's the way it's real time, so I'm okay. Now I'm going to begin. I'll turn it. Go ahead and remove this side first. Here you can see the side. This is the part of the handle that you grip. It goes inside the plastic mold. Pretty solidly made. Go ahead and set that off to the side. Let you guys take a quick look through the inside right there. You can see the wiring harness and everything for all your drives and everything up here, the front connections. These are all the parts that are gonna plug into your motherboard and so forth. Inside of here also, we have the accessories package. I will go ahead and remove the accessories package. Get it out of there. And let's turn it around to the other side. And on the other side, we shall repeat the same thing. Pull off the case siding. Same thing once again. I'll go ahead and set that off to the side as well. So again, you guys can see in here. Now I'm gonna to try to adjust this. I give the camera a second to adjust inside. Inside in the top, there are two 120 millimeter fans like we said before. If you can see inside there right now, you can actually see both of those in there. On the bottom, down here below, you can see are all the connections for all of your drives. All of your SATA connections, everything are all right there. This thing will use standard ATX, mini ATX, or micro ATX motherboards, nothing larger than that. Go ahead and set it down. Now let's see here. I'm trying to give you guys an angle of the top. It's pretty hard to do. So I'm going to set it up like this. Another thing to take note of is you can see right here that to lock and unlock the drive bays, they just got a simple little mechanism right here. So that's all you got to do, pop your drives in, pop these back in, and voila, away you go. So that's going to be pretty easy stuff. I'll go ahead and leave it out for now. Let's go ahead and take them both out just so you guys can see that, but that's how your drives lock in. I'll show you guys the very bottom since we haven't got there yet as I knock one of the screws over. Now we see the very bottom, right down here in the very bottom, we have a removable little air duct right there, so it's cleanable. Very easy, you can just wash it out, clean it, and then just gently put it back in place. No problem whatsoever. Now, last but not least, folks, we told you this thing could be used as basically a test station or as a case. Well, pop the top off. Here you guys can see, room for the single fan we talked about. And then, toss it off the side. Voila, you've got yourself instant test station. So there you can see all the way through into the system. I'm just having fun guys you know me I like to have fun 
I did get this for an early Christmas present. So we get out for the unboxing. This is called the Black Knight Sword. They sell it at a place inside the local mall. So this has been it, man. This is the half XB with the, you know, the fun little sword thing we're doing here. You know, like I said, that thing comes to market at a hundred bucks. It's a good price. Can also be used for different type of situations. I think it's kind of neat because it's square and everything and the price is actually pretty low. And if you wanted something that you could like build your computer in, set a monitor in, or actually for many different type of mods, this will be a pretty cool little thing to have. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If not, I'll find you and chop you up. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, show me some love, like the video, and make sure you subscribe because we have all kinds of giveaways always going on here on Tech of Tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. I'm off to some veggies. Today we want to see if you were paying attention and see if you guys forgot because we didn't. Today's winner of the 12 days of Christmas is Iron Zieg. That's right. Make sure you bug this guy so he can get his prizes and Merry Christmas to all.